and welcome to your gold market update charts of interest for today monday the 6th of february we hope you had a great weekend mike smith senior analyst at gold markets to lead you around what's happening in markets today of course u.s markets finished lower on friday on the back of that major beat of the non-farm payrolls data that came out the hot data gives a green light to the fed to obviously continue to be aggressive but the reality is and if we put it into context we saw significant gains for the week in the US. It is a big earnings week ahead again, many of the big industrials reporting this week. US futures are negative in early Asian trading. Asian indices are mixed but choppy. ASX is just trading around neutral. It's down slightly at the moment, about 0.1%, but we are seeing materials outperform. European equity futures are pointing to a lower open and the VIX remains below 20. The US dollar index had a strong day on Friday, rebounding significantly off those eight month lows on the back of that jobs data. We've had some follow through in Asian trading today and we're seeing weakness across the board in the yen crosses. Gold dropped significantly on Friday, broke through 1900 to drop 4% in two days. And copper is also at monthly lows. May challenge $4, which is a very important level, but it is up this morning in Asia, we note. And gold dropped every day last week and we continue to see it looking precarious. It may test those lows during the course of this week that we hit last month. Bitcoin rejected the move through the resistance level we saw on Friday. It gave up the early day gains and really, again, not looking as though there's the momentum there to push it any higher than it is now. It is below the 200 MA. On the data front, it is a quieter day today. We've got... German factory orders and European retail sales, which may impact on the euro a little bit. Little else of note, we have got the RBA tomorrow, and of course, earnings season continues. A couple of charts that caught our eye this morning. We referenced the US dollar yen, and I put it on my 30 minute chart. You can just see after that jobs data came out, the strength in the US dollar. We had a gap up this morning, gave it a little bit of it away, but you can see we're just pulling back up again. If we put this on the daily chart for context, you can see that big jump higher. And that 200 MA at 134 is in focus. That could be the target for the week. Um, potentially might get a little stop around about this 133.50. Uh, but that's still over 140 pips away from where we are now. So uh, to go back to this chart here, we're looking for a breach of today's highs uh, right on open to suggest that there's more buying pressure coming into this pair. On the ASX, as we said, it is... Uh, a day where we're seeing materials outperform, but we are going to look at a healthcare stock. We've got a mesoblast here, ticker code MSB. These guys are in the stem cell research field, and you can see there another big price jump today. We saw it move through the 200 MA early last week, and uh, you can see that's continuation of that. It's now at around about the 115 level, which puts it at a high not seen since early last year uh, there is a potential upside on this technically to around about 125 which again is fairly significant but there does appear to be quite a lot of buying pressure and analyst action around this stock so one to watch see where it closes if you can close over that 114 as i said it would be the highest close seen for 12 months trade safe and we'll see you again soon bye bye for now